Big round of applause right now for my man Brett Rainbow. Keep it going for Petey, everybody. Keep it going for Petey. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm in a good mood. Uh, I just became like an uncle in the last like few months. So I'm excited about that. Well deserved. Thank you. I earned that. Uh, but uh, it's like too friendly. That was too much. Uh, so my brother, he submitted his baby uh, to be the next like Gerber baby. Uh, anyone can submit. He submitted. And then he emailed me and he was like, dude, you got to vote for my baby uh, to be the next girl, baby. You got to do it. Um, yeah, so I went online and I voted for his baby to be the next girl, baby uh, because it was family, right? But then that's when I realized, like, that's like the only reason you should be voting in that competition. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just, I hope there's not a guy. Just kind of scrolling through all the babies. Being fair and impartial, giving each one an honest assessment. Not being creepy, just being fair. Just like, mm. I'm not seeing any standouts. I'm not. Four crooked nose. <laughs> Great face, terrible body. Uh, I mean, would it kill you to do a push up? Have some pride. It's baby fat, but it doesn't have to be. Like, dude, how awkward would that be between me and my brother? And then he's like, Did you vote for my baby? And I'd have to go, I just couldn't in good conscience. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he looks like a fat gargoyle. And then uh, look at Lydia from East Lansing, Michigan. Oh my God. She's so cute, I made her my wallpaper. Not my computer wallpaper, my actual wallpaper. Uh, it's just really nice to fall asleep to a smiling face for once. So that's, that's someone laughing at my loneliness. All right, we're on the same page. Uh, but, uh, all right, so I saw, it resurfaced, I saw this clip of uh, Ben Affleck, he was on, it, it resurfaced, he was on like the Bill Maher talk show, uh, like a year and a half ago, and he was talking about Muslims and Islamophobia, and uh, what he said was, he goes, dude, why can't we just let Muslims live their lives? Just let them live their lives. Let them go to school, come home, and eat some sandwiches. I was like, that? is the most Boston classification of life <laughs> I've ever heard. That one third of how he defines life contains eating sandwiches. Like, what the fuck? Like, how Boston are you? They can only be more Boston. It's like, just let them live their lives, dude. Let them go to school, come home, watch Patriots games, chug clam chowder, jerk off to Tom Brady, commit a homophobic hate crime at a sports bar, and, uh, attend, and attend a cop's funeral. Can we just let Muslims Park the car in Harvard Yard. <laughs> we let Jews park the car in Harvard Yard. We let Christians park the car in Harvard Yard. Why can we not let Muslims park the car in Harvard Yard? How about them, Assalamu alaikums? <laughs> but, uh, but, oh, so he called the guy a racist. And when someone gets called a racist, I don't know why this is a defense, but like, what's like the classic defense? It's usually like, oh, no, I'm not racist. Some of my friends are black, right? That's like the defense. <laughs> Which, by the way, that's the only thing where, like, to defend yourself, uh, you say you're friends with the people you're accused of hurting. Because there can never be, like, a, no, I'm not a pedophile. Some of my friends are 12. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, story should check out, officer, yeah. Uh, is Timmy who meant a park totally platonic? I don't even feel a thing. He kissed me once. It was his idea. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like it at all. It was just, like, uncomfortable for me. Uh, this is the last thing I'll do. Okay, as I told you, I work in the news, right? And you know this, too. My brother's a lawyer. Uh, you know those two things. So I had to write a story on... There's a story on a rapist cop. And that's not funny. He got put in jail, thankfully. But I had to cover it. And so, um, so I wrote it, and my proofreader, he comes up, and he goes, Hey, uh, hey Brad, right here it says this detail. It says he committed uh, nine counts of rape. Uh, did you use that term correctly as it applies legally? Or should we have used the broader term, sexual assault? Uh, and I truthfully didn't know. Um, but then I was like, oh, I know. I'll text my brother, the lawyer, to figure it out. Um, 
So yeah, just middle of the day out of the blue, um, texted him, uh, hey bro, what is the legal definition of rape? Uh, so, and, and that was all the context I gave. Uh, by, by the way, also put legal in quotes, which, uh, you know, not, not my best work, but he didn't respond. I pro he probably got that and was like, what the fuck? Uh. So I had a deadline. So I, it was due. So the next text was, hey, dude, need to know ASAP, so get it right back to me when you get this. Uh, Got to have the story straight. So, uh, you know, uh, so then that gets it in him. They're like, all right. So then he texts back, wait, what's going on? And I was like, oh, nothing. Just a thing between me and a coworker. Uh, <laughs> And then he was like, if this is your attempt at being funny, it's severely unfunny. And I was like, not trying to be funny, just don't want to get burned on a technicality. Uh, so, then we had a chat and sort it out. But until then, yikes! Uh, all right, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Keep going for Peter. Make sure he can see you. Great rainbow!